Hey guys, Lotus Tech here back again with another video. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to update your tinfoil to work with version 19. So over here, if you're like me and updated your switch, you're gonna get this error every time you try to start tinfoil. So I'll be showing you how to fix this from happening. So what you wanna do first is you just wanna go over here and you just wanna delete the tinfoil you have right here. So we're gonna manage software and we're just gonna press delete software. So we're gonna wait for this to delete. And then it's done deleting. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on to our Hakate menu. So we're gonna go to our fast CFW switch and we're gonna press Hakate. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug in our Nintendo Switch to our PC and I'm gonna show you what to do from there. So the way to do is you go in tools, you go into USB tools, SD card, and we just gotta plug it in and we're gonna go fix this and show you what to do. So here we are back on the PC. So what you want to do is just search tinfoil switch. It's pretty easy to find the website. If you can't find it, you can go through my Discord server. So what you want to do is go in the link tree and join the LT Discord server. Once you're over here, you want to go into socials and then you want to click the other link right here. So we're going to go here, join here. And then over here, you're going to see Lotus Sex Services link tree. When you click this link tree, then you're going to be brought to this server. When you're in this server, you got to verify. And this is where you get to switch links. It's a big process, I know but it's a way to keep our files safe and secure. So over here, this is where you can find it under switch links, you'll see tinfoil update guide or something like that. Now that we have tinfoil over here, what you wanna do is you wanna go onto downloads. There's a few things we're gonna do. As you can see, these are the 19 versions. So what you wanna do is you wanna download the NRO applet version. This is what I download as a little bit of a backup. So we're gonna press save. And then you also wanna download the self installer so we're gonna go here downloads and then we're gonna save this as well now for me the applet version is good to have if your nro does not work now if the self-installer doesn't work i always use the nro because that works most of the time so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug in our nintendo switch so my nintendo switch should be plugged in and popping up we're gonna wait for that to show now over here, I'm gonna delete all these other files from the last video on how to update the switch. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go extract these files. So this will extract. And then we have this one over here. So we're gonna extract this as well. And then we're gonna go on our Nintendo Switch and I'll show you what to do from there. So here we are on our Switch folder and then what we're gonna do is pop out this in a new window right here. So this is the files that we want. Now what we want to do is we want to open up the self-installer and then we're going to drag and drop this to the root of our SD card. We're going to press replace. And then what you want to do is you want to go onto tinfoil applet mode and the same thing, drag and drop it to the root of your SD card. Now we're going to press replace. And we're just going to wait for this to load. Another thing you also want to do is you want to update your SIG patches. So what you want to do is we're going to go onto SIG patches, so Sigma patches. You wanna go here and download the SIG patches and drag and drop it to your SD card. Now, what I recommend doing is you wanna make sure that your switch has been fully updated. I made a video on that, so you wanna follow that guide. Then you wanna do this tinfoil guide on how to update your tinfoil. So now that everything's here, what you wanna do is you wanna right click on your switch and you wanna press eject. If it ejects, then it's good to go. So we're gonna go back on the switch and I'll show you what to do from there. So here we are back on the Nintendo Switch over here. So what we're gonna do next is what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the homebrew menu right here. So we're gonna wait for this to load. Then we're gonna keep scrolling till we find tinfoil right here. So then we'll see tinfoil installer right here. Now keep in mind, if you drag and drop both of them, then they're both might show. For me, it didn't show. So what I had to do is drag and drop the installer again, then it overwrote the NRR version. So what I would recommend first is just only drag and dropping the installer first. If the installer doesn't work for you, then drag and drop the NRO, and then that should work for you. So what we're gonna do is gonna go into the installer. We're gonna click this. We're gonna wait. It should do its thing. And let's wait for this to load. And there we go. We got tinfoil up and running again. So that's pretty much it for this video on how to get tinfoil working again. If you press the home button, as you can see, we got the app back right here. So that's what's up. Um, but again, though, if the app doesn't work like this, then just delete the whole file from the thing and then just drag and drop the NRR version in there, the applet mode one, and then it should work when you open up a game, 
holding this button into the homebrew menu and then you go onto the tin foil and then it should work so that's pretty much it for this video i'll be showing you how to get other stuff if you want to learn how to get shops on here i have videos up where there's different shops that you can test out but yeah thanks for watching and i hope that this fixed your problem bye